Dr. James Barry was actually born Margaret Ann Bulky in about 1789 in County Cork, Ireland. At that time, girls were restricted from most formal education and definitely not allowed to train in medicine. It is believed that the teenage Margaret was abused by an uncle, giving birth to a baby, Juliana, who was reared by her mother. It is known that Margaret desired an education and life beyond the then restrictions of her gender, once declaring to her spendthrift brother, were I not a girl, I would be a soldier. This goal she would eventually achieve. When her family was plunged into poverty, Margaret and her mother moved to London, joining another uncle, James Barry, an eminent painter. His aristocratic friends were impressed by Margaret's intelligence, encouraging and possibly planning a way for her to pursue an education and potential career in medicine. The original James Barry passed in 1806, bequeathing his sister and niece enough funds for independence and his name for recycling. Three years later, Margaret Bulky had become James Barry. Wearing an overcoat, even in summer, and three-inch shoe inserts, the young Barry had moved to Edinburgh and enrolled in medical school. With his distinctive high-pitched voice, slender build and smooth skin, he had reduced his age to align with his young boyish appearance. Rumours abounded and Barry was prevented from sitting for examinations because of suspicions he was too young. However, a supporter, Lord Erskine, intervened and Margaret, aka James, achieved a degree in medicine at age 22. James Barry then applied to become an assistant surgeon in the army, where yet again his age was queried before being allowed to serve. Barry commenced his medical career on July 6, 1813, working as a hospital assistant in the British Army and was soon promoted to the level of lieutenant. He then transferred to Cape Town, South Africa, where he served for 10 years, befriending the governor, Lord Charles Somerset. Some believe Somerset found out Barry's secret as the pair grew close and Barry moved into a private apartment at his residence. Rumours ran amuck about the nature of their friendship and an obscene poster was hung by an anonymous accuser. Commissions were established to investigate the scandal, but both Barry and Somerset were later exonerated. Perhaps to assume a more stereotyped, brazen male personality, or because it was Margaret's actual nature, Barry became known for his short fuse and hot temper. Patients, medical superiors, army officials, and even Florence Nightingale experienced his anger. He threw pharmacy bottles and even took part in a duel, where luckily neither party was seriously hurt. Barry's medical skills were unprecedented, becoming a very skilled surgeon and the first to perform a successful caesarean section where both mother and child survived. He was also committed to social reform, decrying the insanitary conditions and mismanagement of barracks, prisons and asylums. During his 10 year stay, he devised an improved water system for Cape Town. As a doctor, he gave equal treatment to the rich and the poor, the colonists and the slaves. Barry's next posting in Mauritius in 1828 saw him in conflict with a fellow army surgeon who had him arrested and court-martialed on the grounds of conduct unbecoming of the character of an officer and a gentleman. The court verdict was not guilty. Barry moved from country to country, wherever his service was needed, while he continued to climb the ranks. In 1857, he attained the position of Inspector General, overseeing military hospitals, equivalent to Brigadier General. With that status, he continued to fight for improved sanitation, also working to provide better food and decent medical care for prisoners and lepers and also soldiers and their families. Dr. James Barry's life ended on July 25, 1865, due to dysentery. It was said that on his deathbed, acquaintances were expecting his secret to be revealed, with some declaring they had guessed it all along. Barry's final wish was to be buried in the clothes he was wearing, without his body being washed. However, this was not followed. As the nurse undressed his body in preparation for burial, she discovered two surprises female anatomy, and telltale stretch marks from a past pregnancy. The secret became public knowledge after a flurry of letters between the General Register Office and Barry's doctor, 
Major D.R. McKinnon, was leaked. In his letters, Major McKinnon, who signed the death certificate, declared that it was none of his business whether Dr. James Barry was male or female, a show of support Barry herself probably would have appreciated. Dr. James Barry was laid to rest in Kensal Green Cemetery in northwest London. One thing remains certain, Dr. James Barry, or Margaret Ann Bulkey, was way ahead of her time as a doctor and a humanitarian.